Welcome back. We are here looking at the cryptocurrency market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, May 13, 2021. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new studios, and we'll start by looking at Bitcoin. So the cryptocurrency market as a whole today went down with basically everything else. So it was a, it was a horrible day for the stock market in the season and, uh, and um, overall for the cryptocurrency market. As you can see, that Bitcoin fell roughly uh, 3 to 5%. We opened past the day, still trending underneath the 20 exponential and the 50 moving week average. And to be fairly honest, it's starting to look really weak. It's starting to look like we are rounding off here and heading towards the bottom. You should be careful. Look at every single time I say that, it basically rallies. So if we break above the 50 moving week average, then we could test the previous highs here at the 59K. And if that breaks, then we'll go to the highs here at 64K. But we'll probably have one more day of really negative news where everybody will be talking about inflation, inflation, inflation. And um, yeah, okay. But uh, to be fairly honest, inflation is a part of, uh, of, uh, of the market and um, it doesn't mean the end of the world. If you look at uh, most uh, commodities today, they were all down quite substantially and uh, that should also have a major effect on basically production and inflation so if things will correct themselves um, and uh, as long as uh, the fed for example is continuing its monetary policy and also the u.s government continues its uh, fiscal policies it's looking really difficult for this market overall to basically crash but cryptocurrency market it's kind of it is having difficult periods at the current stage and I pointed it out that on the weekly chart a few weeks ago, it did cross. And uh, usually when that crosses, you have a terrible, thing, a terrible things basically happening. So we have still managed to keep above these moving averages. But we, it looks like we're going to retest these moving averages again at uh, 47. So just keep that in mind. That is most likely what is going to occur here. So if we manage to basically break the 200 moving average, then we're seeing a drop significantly lower. So let's look at Ethereum. So Ethereum is uh, holding up. It did rally all the way up to 4,330 and then gave all of those gains back. It ended up in red. And now we're starting to open in basically in green. So this is still significantly over a bot. It is um, not at top of the bullish band yet, but it is significantly over bot. Pull back from here, could easily see this drop towards the middle of the bullish band at 3,202. Um, and yes, but technical indicators are still very bullish. So as long as that is the case, and this will basically continue rallying to the upside. This usually can get up to roughly 9, uh, 90 to 95 uh, in the RSI before it basically collapses. So there's still room to the upside. So let's look at, uh, at ADA. Cardano. So Cardano also rallied, broke down, and now we're just trading sideways. It looks like for most of the cryptocurrency market, uh, this, uh, momentum has dwindled at this point. So uh, we are trading sideways. It's not a negative thing. Usually you can trade sideways and up 20 exponential moves this way, and then it continues higher. So you could see that. We could also see a drop towards the 20 and then continue higher. If you look at technical indicators, they are, well, they're still very bullish. MACD is above the signal line bullish, and Stochastic is bullish, CCI is bullish, and RSI is actually flat. We're on the edge of being our bot. So 20 and the middle of the bullish band have been major support. So if you fall from there, then it most likely will bounce. So let's look at Litecoin. So Litecoin also rallied and then dropped all the way down to 336. And then, um, yes, we rallied a little bit. And now we ended up basically flat as well. So technical indicators here are slowly turning around. So Stochastic is bearish. CCI is becoming bearish. RSI is flat. And the MACD is also rolling over here and will most likely indicate that we are going back towards the middle of the bullish band down here at the $300. That most likely will basically happen in this cryptocurrency so let's look at neo so neo is uh, just uh, building up momentum as it uh, 
usually does. It builds momentum at the 20 exponential and then it basically takes off. The same goes for here and then takes off. And now it looks like we're going to do the same thing. Technical indicators are fairly bearish at this current stage. So uh, as long as we stay above the 20 exponential, then there's a highly likely that we'll rally to the upside. Break below this, open the door to the 50 down at 79. So let's look at Dash. So Dash did rally today, broke down, and now we're trading just at 392. Technical indicators here are slowly turning around. Uh, 20 exponential has been holding at 357. 50 moving average is probably the bottom of this market at roughly 300. So it is in the middle of nowhere. It basically needs to drop or rally in order to determine where we basically are going at this current stage. So let's look at Dogecoin. So, um, yes, we're still hanging on here at the uh, 20 exponential moving average. We did rally, try to rally um, yesterday and then gave all of those gains back, but middle of the bullish band is holding. Um, Technical indicators, MACD is bearish, Stochastic is still bearish, but is slowly turning around here. So, uh, so CCI is also becoming bearish and the RSI is flat. So there's a lot of room to the upside. This also builds momentum at the 20 exponential and then takes off breaks down towards the middle, builds momentum, and then takes off. So we could see a similar move here. It just takes a few weeks in order to build up momentum. Drop below the middle of the bullish band, opens the door to the 50 at 0 0.25. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support your channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our news videos. And good luck and thank you very much.